and then we'll take a walk so the front looks beautiful during the nighttime it's got some beautiful blue led lights i love just real nice rotor flex fifth wheel hitch real nice it's got a cummings anon onan 5500 generator which we love we're getting ready to do some you know long trips and we're gonna do boondocking so we've got in here our two 30 gallon propane tanks and really there's a lot of usable space in here so i've added some eyelids some bungee cords i'm gonna add some lights in here add some fishing rods and some extra storage you know just to pick up some extra space so looking forward to finishing that project and as we come around the side this thing's a beautiful fifth wheel we added the slide toppers because we do really like the addition keeps the top safe um really wish these screws from keystone were a little bit different uh they look like just regular drywall screws so maybe add some stainless steel screws later we have got our eq smart level system love that it's bluetooth with an app enabled love that system easy to use um it does have and this i had to find once i got the fifth wheel because going around online hey say hi hi going around online and looking for the size of the pads because i really want to buy the snap-on pads snap on if you want to send me some the front two are 12 inch and the back four are nine inch and we'll kind of we'll get in there a little bit later and i'll show you what they look like but kind of want to walk you through um fresh water input system real nice storage capability i love the water system setup they have here it's really good very easy to use very user friendly it's got all of your satellite tv hookup it's got a nice little faucet here i've added this little uh faucet extension so we can spray water i do have the coil hose that comes with it but this is going to be pretty handy and it's going to help us out in camping love the screw on top to run my hoses under and not to have this exposed or unlocked um got my storage and you can see I'm, I'm a little organized but a little unorganized at the same time got my ryobi uh electric blower got some firewood got a little pop-up table i've got and if you guys don't have this i really recommend you get this this is called a trailer aid and it's in case you ever get a flat tire um it's easy to roll on your good tire and then boom you're automatically elevated you don't need to jack it up we've got some extra firewood back here called the mighty tote um and if you guys haven't used it it's phenomenal burns for about two hours breaks up real nice uh where did you get it at target target we got it at target on sale um so shout out to mighty tote uh let's walk around to the inside we'll kind of go through so right this way so here is our battery compartment and we purchased this rv at rv1 and rv1 in tampa so shout out to those guys treated us real good had a phenomenal time shout out to richard uh he's the service manager i believe there and monica one of the finance managers there and uh anthony who's actually the finance guy there great guy uh great team over that rv1 really hooked us up and took care of us two batteries um i've added this battery compartment just to add some sprays and non-corrosive some slide out some lubes and different things like that i want to keep it secured got it secured with a bungee cord for right now keeps me nice and organized as best as possible so in here i love the snap latches they have holds up by itself and as you can see we've really got some nice storage here um and again like i said little organized little unorganized so lots of space lots of room we're able to keep our table vacuum shout out to rigid pro pack vacuum phenomenal just picked up another camco super kit i can't speak more about this company camco's phenomenal um brings you 20 p uh nine piece set 20 foot core uh cables for your sewer holes just awesome and i love that's my second or third set i think we've had um you know basic storage and some good stuff for us to have in there while we're camping and on the road one thing that i do really like it comes already prepped for an inverter so in the future we'll probably get an inverter probably post it up on this wall back here reorganize our storage but i really like that it comes prepped already for an inverter 
Um, so along the way, it'll help us with time and uh, help us out when we're camping. Brings an outdoor entertainment uh, area. So really comes prep for a TV mount, which we will order. I think we're gonna go probably with, uh, I think 24, 26 inch Samsung with a built-in DVD player. So we'll be able to have the kids out here, watch some TV. Brings a nice little hot point fridge and uh, just a nice little area from where we're hanging out. And I'll tell you this, one of the things that we looked at when we were shopping for an RV and, and really we shop by floor plan and what fits our needs as a family. Um, and really I'll tell you, the best thing that I like is that on this side here, there is no slide. Now let me, let me step back a little bit and show you. So from the front all the way down, we've got no slide that comes out on this side. And I'll tell you that it, it keeps us together, hanging out, and it gives us more room. When we're in the front of the RV, hanging out, we've got our table and our chair set up. We don't have that big slide intruding on us, which is one of the things that we as a family and my wife and I decided when we wanted to upgrade to a fifth wheel is one thing that we wanted. Um, love the solid step. One of the things that I was really looking forward to it. Uh, so come on in and uh, let's show you around. So as you can see, um, got a Thomas Payne collection couch, massage feature, heater feature, uh, comes down in the middle, gives us cup holders, electric outlet, USB, really love that feature. Um, one of the things my daughter was super excited about is that they do recline and go all the way back. Um, so we really like that. Comes with a fireplace, furnace, heater. The lights do work on it when without heater so that's a really good option brings a great jensen sound system uh, again jensen tv and i mean check out the storage in this in this rv when you talk about storage they really delivered on this 359 uh impact fusion from keystone um just outstanding room amount of storage you know we're still figuring out what's going to be where and what's going to go where um so again brand new rv uh kids station as you can already see they've got a bunch of drawings and a bunch of stuff on the door some toys and again um, we're really looking forward to our camping adventures here now I want to show you a really cool feature on this fusion that we really like impact is these chairs that fold out I mean what a time-saving concept we love it real nice feature girls can sit have breakfast I can sit have breakfast um, and it's got a nice space in there for right now. We've got like a box and some stuff. One thing I wish what they would have done was in this storage space here where we've got a bin now, I wish they would have done something with shelves there, uh, something to put our shoes and different things like that. When we're hanging out, we come in from a long day of either hiking or camping out, walking around. We can put our shoes there instead of leaving them outside and it gives us a place nice to tuck them away. Um, so nice kitchen area, real nice space. Got a, oh, it comes with a little bar, a bottle opener, which is phenomenal. Uh, one, I think that's what sold me on the feature actually on this RV. So one of the things that I really do like, um, comes with this bamboo cutting board, nice little, nice little offset color of the color, color scheme that we have does come with this flip top open Furion gas stove. Uh, we haven't used it yet. But uh, I'll make sure that I upload a video once we do use it. Again, nice little oven, great little microwave, fans, just your regular. Love this storage drawer here under the oven. Um, gives us a lot more storage capacity. And then when you look in here, again, so pardon the silverware tray, but we're still trying to figure out and find a silverware tray that is 12 inches by 11, I think is what we need for this drawer. So still shopping around i think camco has one but it's a little bit too big but we're going to order it and get it in see what happens love the height of the cabinets again organization is key space is key when you're camping and this rv really the 359 just delivered on it uh we didn't get the residential fridge um for us you know it's something that we decided and we said you know what we want to be able to go camping and if we want to go have dinner go having but go go have it but really to have a ton of food, and even if we're on the road for two, three weeks at a time, 
we can stop somewhere and really pick it up and uh, get it at any grocery store or any market that's near us. Again, storage space everywhere. And um, this is how we keep it fully stocked. Got Tito's here, an important uh, part of camping. So again, just great storage. Let's take you over here to the girls' room. We don't call it the garage because we call it the girls' room. That's what we call it. <laughs> the girls really like to call it the girls' room instead of the garage. But again, Happy Jack Queen uh, bed sofas does come with a table. Currently, we have it with a four-inch or a three-inch foam mattress that we bought on Amazon. Um, I'll provide some details on that if you guys want. Really phenomenal. We've had it in all our RVs. We upgraded it because this one does come with a king-size bed and just outstanding features, right? So we've got the toy uh, hauler deck kit. We do have a screened in awning, so when we are somewhere, when we want to come sit down and have lunch, um, we can, we can put the table here. We can lower this down, enjoy the beach. Uh, once we park at the beach, one of our favorite campgrounds is Beverly Beach in Florida. Uh, you really got the nice back part of it. Also Sunshine Key um, in Ohio Key, Florida. We stay there every year. It's phenomenal, beautiful views. So if you guys get a chance to check them out. It comes with a half bath in the back. Show you this so nice view also of the window and one of the things that we do like is it brought some storage and some space this little ladder came with it we've got a lot of the girls stuff in here our telescope book bags for camping for hiking their masks snorkel gear fins different things like that um, we also got a bike stand uh, that we attach. Also, one of the things that we did add was this little organizer for our brooms and our mops. Um, it's real good. It's got these little nice hooks so you can come down and hook up some stuff. But it keeps stuff up and organized real nice. Um, does come with a washer dryer prep, uh, which is a real nice feature. Love that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna soon upgrade to a washer and dryer there it does come tv mount ready so for the wall we're ready to go um and we'll be we'll be installing that soon as well love all the windows that this rv does have i mean it's just great uh big window on this side big window on this side and uh let's go show you the bathroom and the master bedroom so one of the things in this rv that we really took a look at when we first purchased it was the steps now again we all know that these rvs are, are are made and sometimes they miss a little couple beats so we actually replaced these screws because the screws that came with were round head screws and, and walking through barefoot or in sandals you really felt them and we were afraid to catch our toe or one of the girls to get hurt from it so we did swap them out um you know and wish that you know keystone's great we've we've purchased three Keystone products uh, again, like I said earlier in the video. So we're a big huge fan of Keystone All our RVs have all been made from them. We've purchased them all brand new uh, You know God has blessed us enough to be able to do that. So, you know We really wish they would have taken a little bit more time on those little details. But again, uh, these are things you do find with uh, With RVs. so this AC this RV does come with two 15,000 watt um, ACs love the window on this side so when you look out and right now the only thing you see is the side of our house but that's okay um love the bathroom big shower i'm a i'm a big guy i'm six four you know and i can get in here with no problem really fit inside you know it's got great space i can turn i can move and i'm not cramped in here and i feel good in here so you know love that so big shout out to to keystone impact for keeping us big guys in mind one of the things i can tell you uh, that I do like is so in our old Keystone the fan operated on the light switch here and I kind of like having it separated so if I did want to open it and turn it on here I think it's a little bit more user friendly in that manner uh, sometimes when I would turn on the light in the other one in the middle of the night if I had to use the restroom the fan would go off um, so I kind of like that feature having it here um, lots of storage space comes with a great pantry that you can really fit a lot of storage in so we keep our towels 
little accoutrement in here, um, if that's the word. And then down here, all our cleaning supplies and just more storage for the bathroom. So awesome job. One thing I wish they would have done though is, I wish they would have sealed the bathtub a little bit better. So I had to go and seal all these corners. Um, and actually in our first night in camping, you know, we got a leak and I think it's because we were on unlevel ground um, in the campsite that we were at, but all of this up here, and I still gotta, gotta, gotta seal it. None of it's kind of sealed up. So with the kids, with myself, I mean, we've already had a little bit of a leak. So we addressed that, we fixed it, we sealed it up. We're gonna seal that. So love Keystone, but wish they would have taken a little bit more time with that. One of the things that they did tell us is, you know, on this Impact 359, you gotta make sure you lock this when you're driving. Um, at the dealer, there was one RV that they forgot to lock. And um, the window actually broke in transit. So something to keep in mind when you're getting ready and uh, you do your checklist to kind of go through. And actually I wanna give a big shout out to Changing Lanes uh, YouTube channel. Uh, found them not too long ago, started following them. They've got a lot of great content. Um, and those checklists that they made, I actually use, and it's a real good uh, system to have. So I love those checklists, so thank you, Changing Lanes. Um, big shout out to them. This is our closet space, um, real nice. Got a lot of different stuff in here. Clothes, we've added some little racks that we found at Home Depot. And um, you know, it just makes our space usable, gives us a little bit more organization. We can still have space for hanging rods. Love the two drawers on the bottom. We got a lot of space in here. And this is the model with the king size bed. Um, really love this feature. Again, gives us the space that we want. Love the window on the side. Does come with outlets. Um, I probably will upgrade those outlets on the side to have a USB port. And it does have a beautiful window on this side too. So when we are camping, we can look out and see some great views um, and have some real nice views for uh, when we go camping and when we wake up. Love the pocket doors that they have here. Um, again, time spacing. In our old RVs, the doors would open and close. It takes up a lot of space. It takes away from the enjoyment, right, of, of having space in the RV. And again, look at all this space. I'm a big guy. Look at all this walking space that's here. Um, just phenomenal, again, from Keystone. TV prepped, ready to go. Uh, this does have the wind guard system, and if you look right here on the roof, it is internet ready, um, so we will be hooking that up. So when we do go on our long trip this summer, um, we will have internet in here no matter where we are, um, and you can do it on a monthly basis. It's through AT&T, and again, just phenomenal. Them thinking ahead for when you're on the road, uh, you can really you can really see that one of the things that I do love to add in our RVs and I've done it already in all of our RVs is on the doors that we do have right we have this magnetic locking so if you open the door and then close it it automatically sticks together keeps the door closed and stuck nice and neat doesn't mess with anything and it just keeps us organized one of the things that I do like also comes with this Jaboni solar panel ready um, outlet here. Uh, again, Dometic ACs. And this is our new Impact 359 2021. Again, our family just showing you and giving you kind of a tour on our Impact 359. We love it. We're super excited. Um, and this is something new for us. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've tried to make it informative. I've tried to kind of like tell you what we want to do um, with it, which is we want to have memories. We want to build some unforgettable times for our daughters, my wife and myself, um, and get out of kind of like the everyday routine. That's why we started camping. That's why we love camping. Um, and I hope you guys have liked this owner review on the impact. If you guys got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to answer it. And again, welcome to our channel. It's Arville's Adventures. And soon you'll meet the rest of the family. Um, and again, 
Uh, looking forward to any questions, comments you have. But this is an owner review of the 2021 Impact Fusion 359. Uh, so thank you guys very much, and we'll see you next time. So make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content on us and our family, and once you've got to meet us, let us know. And if you've got any questions on the Impact 359, let us know. Thank you so much, and we out.